I'm going to show you how to quickly set up an alarm on your iPhone. We'll look at two options to do this, one using a sleep goal schedule, and then how to add multiple manual alarms. To do this, start by finding and then opening the clock app on your home screen. First, make sure that you choose the alarms tab here on the bottom menu bar. Let's check out a sleep schedule alarm first. At the top here, you'll see sleep, wake up. If you've never set this before, it's going to say set up, or if you have in the past, it'll say change. Choose that. Once you do, you'll be asked to set your sleep goal. Whether you do this inside of your health app or inside of here, the concept is the same. First, set your bedtime to when you would like to be asleep by, and then move the wake up time to when you would like the alarm to go off. It'll tell you below how many hours of sleep you'll be getting according to that schedule. This is nice if you want to follow that, but we're more concerned about the alarm itself right now. At the bottom, make sure that your alarm option here is enabled. After that, you can choose what alarm sound you would like to use, and then adjust the alarm volume under that. You can also enable snooze if you want to use that feature. When you're finished, tap done on the top right, and you'll then see the wake up alarm is set for the time that you've set. But you'll notice that it says tomorrow only, and it's only one specific time. So let's take a look at setting up manual alarms and then put them on a schedule. To do this, tap the plus sign here on the top right of the screen. First, set the time that you want the alarm to go off at. After that, if you want the alarm to repeat, like say every weekday, tap repeat. You can then choose the days that you want the alarm to be active on. Next, you can give the alarm a label or keep it as the default. Again, choose the sound that you want the alarm to be and then finally turn on or off snooze. Once you're done making your choices, hit save on the top right. You can then go through if you want and add more custom alarms. I usually don't use the snooze feature, but instead I'll add a few individual alarms around the same time. You could add more weekday alarms or you can make separate ones just for the weekends. Once you have all of your alarms set up, you can then easily in the future just head back into the clock app and then turn on or off your alarms as you need by tapping the slider here on the right. And one last thing, the volume of your alarms will follow the volume that you've set when you're inside of the clock app here. So if you find that your alarm volumes are too low, first, make sure that your iPhone is not on the silent mode with the mute slider here on the side of your phone. And then once you're inside of the clock app here, just raise the volume all the way to the volume that you want the alarms to. By doing that, you'll fix the low volume alarm issue. And that's how you set up wake up alarms on your iPhone.